Hello guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm sharing with you guys everything I crocheted in February of 2023. So today I am filming the first part of this video. It is currently February 10th. I have a market tomorrow. So I wanted to go ahead and film the first clip of this video to show you the items that I have crocheted so far that I'm bringing to the market in case they of course all sell and I can't share them with you afterwards. And then I will film a second clip for this video, probably like one of the first days of March, and share with you the rest that I make in February. A lot of this you did already see in previous videos, but of course I want to share everything all in this video. Now as always for these videos you guys, there will be a link to a Google Doc below that has all of the yarns and patterns I used for each one of these projects linked in the order that I talked about each item. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first item that I finished on February 1st was this koala with the heart-shaped hands and feet. Now, don't mind that a lot of these items are gonna have price tags hanging off of them. Of course, I'm going to a market, so pretty much everything is done for the market as I am filming this video. But anyways, this is my own pattern that is available on Etsy and Ribbler. And you guys also saw a video where I designed this because you guys did choose this design through my community tab. So that was a super fun video and this is how it turned out. The little koala is made out of Burnett blanket yarns. We have regular blanket in pink dust and coal and then baby blanket in the color mountain mist. So that was this first one that I made on February 1st. Now, next, you guys, I'm kind of just going to go in a random order as I pick things up because I'm not 100% sure of the order that I made everything. But on February 2nd, I did start filming everything I crocheted in one week and went all the way to February 8th. So most of these items that you're going to be seeing are from that video. So if you want to know the exact order that I crocheted everything in, that video is definitely the place to check out because I filmed every time I was crocheting for that whole week. So first I have a pretty big collection of keychains that I made, which of course all of these are going to the market as well. So we have three gummy bear keychains, which all of these are made out of just chenille yarns. So we have the color lavender, flamingo, and lime for these gummy bears. Then we have three little octo keychains, also just chenille yarns. We have lavender, pink, and mint. The final two little keychains that I have are two little frog ones, and these are also just chenille yarns, and this is my own free little frog pattern. So they turn out super cute on the little keychains, at least I think. So that is all for keychains, at least for right now. I doubt I'm going to make any more keychains. I'm probably going to not crochet very much, to be honest, because my hands definitely need a break after all that I've done for this market. But anyways, on to the rest of the stuff. Next we have my Malcolm the Mushroom pattern with heart-shaped spots. If you guys didn't know, I do have this pattern that is inspired by Malcolm the Mushroom, the Squishmallow, and the pattern comes with circle spots or heart-shaped spots. So you could make either one, and I made heart-shaped spots, and this is going to be on my little Valentine's cart tomorrow at the market. Which by the way I'm saying tomorrow because as I'm filming this it's tomorrow but it's almost been like a month probably since this video is going up so i have all the market videos already up if you want to check those out but anyways malcolm the mushroom and i'm super happy with how this one turned out next we have this jumbo hershey's kiss this is with burnett blanket yarns as well as the Malcolm the Mushroom is also Burnett Blanket Yarns. If I forget to mention it at any point in this video, it is of course linked with the pattern, so you can find it in the Google Doc as well. But anyways, this one is also going to my market, but it is not for sale because I'm doing a little raffle, which again, if you guys want to hear details on that, it was all included in my market prep video, but I am doing a little raffle, so somebody is going to win this, as well as a jar of a ton of Hershey's Kisses. But Anyways, that is this one, which I'm super happy with how this one turned out. I think it's adorable. Next, we have the little milk and cookie duo, which is super cute. I actually have them combined so that they come together, and I'm just super happy with how this turned out. I'm also doing this on the Valentine's cart, even though they aren't technically Valentine's themed. I think it would be cute for like a couple. So this is also a Valentine's item. 
anyways made these in the month of february as well also with burnet blanket and baby blanket yarns next we have a little easter item or just like spring item in general and that is this little bunny in overalls it is super cute this one is made with yarn b velvety smooth yarns and i absolutely love how it turned out it was a pattern that took a little bit longer to make than i would like but it is still of course a super cute pattern and i love how it turned out all right you guys next i have four of these little mushrooms here which i'm gonna have such a hard time holding all four of them but here you go here is the four of them and this pattern is always a good seller for me so that's why i made so many of them and i'm super excited to have this many at the market so these are also burnet blanket yarns just so you know and there is four i just dropped the pink one though <laughs> but you sell it just a second ago so yes that is these and this is all the same pattern Next we have three little axolotls that I made throughout the month. These are all the same pattern and they are all parfait chunky yarn and I just love how they turned out. So that is these little axolotls. I think they're super cute. Next we have four chocolate covered strawberries. I have two that are white chocolate and then two that are like milk chocolate I guess. These are all with Parfait Chunky Yarn and a free pattern that is available on Instagram and of course will be linked in the description box below for you guys and I just love these. I think they're so cute and they're going to all go in a little bin together for my Valentine's cart. So super excited about these and they are super quick make as well. So I'll probably make more of these in the future even if it's not Valentine's Day but right now they're perfect for Valentine's Day. Next I have two otters. These are with Burnett baby blanket and regular blanket and they are so super cute. I love this pattern and it is a super quick make as well. As you probably are seeing I tend to gravitate towards quicker projects for the markets which they tend to sell better so that's why. So these are two super cute ones that I hope are going to sell pretty well. Next we have three little baby turtles which are also burnet blanket and baby blanket yarns and this is another super quick pattern this one only takes like 30 or 40 minutes so super quick and i made two in this colorway with burnet baby blanket yarns and then one in this colorway with burnet blanket yarns and i already made one of the same exact color one in january so i have two of these and two of these for the market so four of them total Next we have this little opossum slash possum because I'm not really sure which one it is but anyways this one is super cute this is also just chenille yarns we have pink white gray and black and I've made a few of these in the past so there is going to be a little bin of them at my market so super cute I think and I'm really excited about this guy as well. Next we have a bee with parfait chunky yarn this is with my own free pattern Next we have Leggy Frogs. This is a pattern that you can find on Etsy and again will be linked in the Google Doc below. This is actually my first time making Leggy Frogs but everybody says they sell super well at markets so I wanted to make a couple up. So I got four of them made and these are all with just chenille yarn and they're just so super cute. Like look at that. Now all of the items I have left to show you guys are patterns that I made that are not released as I'm currently filming this. But I'm going to try to release them towards the end of February. So hopefully as you're watching this video they are released. If they are released of course it'll be on the Google Doc. If not then it'll probably say pattern coming soon or something like that. But anyways these are all no sew patterns again that I designed that are super quick to make. Each one takes like less than 30 minutes. So they are super great for markets of course and that's why I wanted to design patterns like this. So first one is this little chubby frog. This is also just chenille yarns and again it takes like 28 minutes or something like that. So it is super fast and I just love it. I think it is so adorable. So there is one of these that I made in February. Next we have my mini mushroom pattern and I have five of these that got made in the month of February. So we have these all with burnet blanket and baby blanket. So these two we have these two and then this last one here so all of these i'm super excited about as well and they are even quicker i think they take like 15 minutes or 20 minutes maybe next we have three whales again 
my own pattern, a no sew pattern that is super quick, also takes like 29 or 28 minutes something like that i've tracked each one and they're all under 30 minutes i just can't remember exactly but anyways we have these these are all actually burnett baby blanket and yes i did two in multicolors and then one in a solid purple so that is these ones and finally we have my no so octo which i am so excited about i love making these and this is the first one now i was kind of experimenting with different size eyes so this is like my least favorite size for the eyes i definitely much prefer these bigger ones but anyways these are all also burnett blanket or baby blanket so i also made four of these in the month of february so far so i will be sharing with you guys in the next clip what i made in the month of February after today but right now that is everything that I have made and it's all going to my market tomorrow so I wanted to make sure I could sit down and film this for you to be able to include everything before some of it sells all right you guys hello we are back for the rest of everything I crocheted in February which I ended up doing a lot more than I thought I would just because my market went really well and I wanted to restock quite a few of my items as well as I just wanted to make quite a few newer items for markets to see how well they do so i think pretty much all of this is going to be for markets as well as i did have a couple orders to fulfill after my market so i will actually show you those first because the orders i only have pictures on my phone because i already went out to people i don't have the items in person so i'll start out with showing you guys those first okay first for an order after the market i had a request from somebody at the market to make a bigger opossum from the ones that I had. I had small ones and I did that and this is what that looks like. And then I also had an order for three cows all to the same person and that is what these three cows turned out like. This isn't my normal cow pattern that I use. It's a different one that I bought off Etsy but I'll still link it below for you of course. Then I had an order for this fox holding a cherry blossom flower which I absolutely love. It turned out so cute. The fox pattern I bought off Etsy and then the cherry blossom pattern is just a free one. So those will of course be linked below for you. And then final items that I actually made for orders. I had this pink peep already made beforehand from January but I made this blue one to go with it because I had a request for a blue one as well. And I hadn't already made a blue one so I made the blue one to go with the pink one. So that is as far as orders items that I don't have that I made within the month of February and now we are on to just items that I have here currently that are more than likely going to be for markets and I'm just gonna kind of go in order of what I think I made first but I'm not 100% sure so it'll just be kind of my best guess so I'm pretty sure I made this little blueberry pretty much like exactly the day after my market I said that I wasn't going to do any crocheting for that whole weekend, the Saturday and Sunday. The market was on a Saturday. I didn't do any crocheting on Saturday, but on Sunday I started back up with crocheting. So anyways, I made this little blueberry, which is a super quick and cute pattern. Sold all the blueberries at my market, so I made another one to restock on those. Next we have a leggy frog because all the leggy frogs sold out. By the way, if you haven't already checked out the video where I shared what sold and what didn't and all of that, I'll link it below for you so you can watch that. But from here you'll probably get a pretty good idea of the items that sold well since I remade them. But anyways, this little leggy frog, super cute. That one is just chenille yarns and then this blueberry is parfait chunky yarns. With Burnett Blanket, I made another squid. The squids that I made for my market were actually in just chenille yarn but I decided I wanted to make them bigger this is the same pattern that I've been using just different yarns and it came out quite a bit bigger but I really like how this one turned out so this one's burnet blanket and I know that these squids were made at different times but I'm just going to go ahead and show you all of them at the same time so this squid is with big twist plush yarn which this is my first time using it and I absolutely love how this turned out this one is the color Strawberry Sherbert. And then also the third and final squid from the month of February is this blue one, which this blue color is Burnett Blanket Brights in the color Water Slide. So 
super cute with the squids and I really love how all three of these turned out and I'll definitely be making a couple more for my upcoming markets. Here's another leggy frog. I'm pretty sure I made this one and the other one around the same time. Like I said, I'm not sure on the timing of everything so it may be different but anyways that is this one. Next we have this elephant. This is with Burnett Blanket Yarns and you guys I am obsessed with this. This is such a cute little pattern that I bought off of Etsy. I actually saw this pattern on Instagram when the pattern test went out and everything. I didn't apply for the pattern test because I was market prepping so I didn't want to apply for anything like that while in the midst of market prepping. But anyways, I did in fact buy it the day it came out and made it the day it came out and I absolutely love it. So this is going to be another item for markets but I think it's super cute. Next we have another gummy bear. This is Sweet Snuggles Light. I made the same color for my market and it sold so I made another one. We also have an otter with Burnett Baby Blanket and Regular Blanket. Again, super cute. One that I make all the time because it did sell pretty well at the market. Next you guys we have this squirrel which I am so happy with how this turned out. This is a project that I'm actually pretty tempted to keep for myself. I don't think I'm going to, but I am tempted because it's so cute. And this pattern is another one that I purchased off of Etsy. I made this with Baby Blanket Yarns from Burnett, Baby Sand and White, and then this is actually Burnett Pip Squeak. I think this is Elephant Gray is the color name, and this is actually my first time using Burnett Pip Squeak yarn, and I really like how it looks for the tail to be fluffy. But anyways, that is this little squirrel. Now also with Burnett Pipsqueak yarn, I made this little no so dog pattern. This was my first prototype. The pattern's already up if you guys want to see it. I finalized it in March though, so you guys aren't going to see the actual like what I crocheted for it until next month. But anyways, this was the first prototype for the pattern. And the pattern is a two-in-one pattern, by the way. You can make this dog or a bunny. So this was the version with Burnett Pipsqueak yarn and I think it turned out really cute. So that is this little guy. Next I have two baby little penguins. This is an item that I want to add to my markets and have like a bunch of them because I've made like pretty much one penguin for each market and they always sell. So I decided why not make quite a few and try to have like a little bin of them. So this month I made two of them. This is the same pattern. They look quite a bit different because I accidentally messed up on this one. But either way, they're both super cute. And these are Burnett Blanket and Baby Blanket yarns. And yeah, I think these are going to be a good seller. At least I hope because I'm going to make quite a few more and do some different colors as well. We also have this cat which definitely did not turn out the way I wanted it to. It's like not the best at all. But I feel like some little kid will probably really like it. And it was a quick pattern to make at least, so it won't be like super expensive or anything. But yeah, it looks, like I said, not the best. Not my favorite thing I've ever made, of course. But still decently cute. But anyways, this is this one, which this is a free pattern that I just found online somewhere. So of course it'll be linked below for you, like always. And this is Burnett Blanket Yarns. Also with the same Burnett Blanket Yarns, I believe this is the color Pale Purple. I made this hippo, which you guys, I'm obsessed with this pattern. I have had on my list for a while now to make this pattern and I finally did it. And now I think I'm going to make a couple more and try to have a little bit of these as well because I just think they're so stinking cute. And I'm probably going to do them in a couple different gray colors. This one is a light gray of course. Probably do like darker gray, maybe even like purple and blue would probably be cute for it too. So. Anyways, that's what this first one looks like and the only one that I made for the month of February, but I am hoping to make a couple more to have for sale at markets. So this is a pattern I bought from Crochet with Bay off of her website. So that's this one, which is super quick. Next we have another little Octo. This is the same Burnett Blanket Brights color in the color Water Slide that I made the squid with, this time just an Octo. And this is my No So Octo pattern, which I just released recently, so you guys can check that out if you want. It's available on my Etsy and my Rimbler, and it's also available on Etsy in a pattern pack. So if you want to get the pattern pack, it's a discounted price for three patterns together instead of just one. So, anyways, 
I'm really excited about this and these sold really well for me at my market so I made this one so far and I'm definitely gonna have quite a few more that I'm gonna be making over the next couple weeks. We also have the same Burnett blanket in water slide and Burnett baby blanket in white for this little chunky mushroom which again another item that sold super well for me so that's why I am continuing to make them and yeah I just made this with a variegated color and I think it turned out super cute. This is the only one I made for the month of February. Well I think you guys saw in the beginning of this video I made more in the month of February but I mean the only one that I made since after the market. <laughs> but anyways that is this one which is the same pattern that I showed you before just now different colors. Okay next I made some more opossums in just chenille yarn and these completely sold out for me so I wanted to obviously remake some more and I just love this little pattern I think they're so cute so that is these guys we also have this bee which you guys saw in my bee tutorial that came out recently I made this with parfait chunky yarns and if you are a beginner crocheter and you want to make this bee yourself you can check out that tutorial because it just came out recently so I made this as well we also have a little tiny bee. I only made one of these. This is the keychain bee pattern that I've been using and this will be on a keychain at some point because I did sell out of the yellow ones but I just haven't put on a keychain yet. So there's that one. Next we have a pattern that is releasing tomorrow as you guys are seeing this video so keep an eye out for that because it'll be on my Etsy and my Ribbler of course. But anyways, this was with Parfait Chunky Yarns, and this is my unicorn pattern, which I'm so excited about. It is very low sewing. The only sewing that is needed is for the horns and the ears. So super cute, I think. The arms are crocheted on, and all of the hair is crocheted on. So it's super cute, and I'm really excited about this unicorn pattern. It'll be on Etsy and Ribbler, like I already said. Next, with Chenille Home Slim, we have this Yoda slash Baby Yoda. I'm not sure which one it actually is. I'm sorry. I hope I don't offend anybody, but I'm really, like, under a rock when it comes to s some movies and stuff. So just don't mind me, like, not knowing even though I make this stuff. But I think it's really cute anyway, and I'm hoping it's going to sell well at a market. So that is this one. And then... We also have with the same yarns, this is a Groot, which I do love Groot. I have seen Guardians of the Galaxy and I do love Groot in the movie. So I wanted to make this not only because I do like Groot, but also I think a lot of other people like Groot. So hopefully this will be another good seller. And this one did take me a while though, so it's going to be a little bit more expensive than I like my items to be but still I think it's really cute so I'm hoping somebody will be willing to purchase it. All right and now that's all my items as far as plushies. Now I am adding some new types of products to my markets which I'm really excited about and I'm really excited to share with you guys how they sell. So these first items are little drawstring bags which I think are so so cute. Now these are with just chenille yarns and the same free pattern so you guys can find it linked below but I have one that's made to look like a little peach and then one that's made to look like a little lemon and they just open like this and then you can put whatever you want to in here that would fit and then you just pull it closed like that and then it has a little handle as well so I'm super excited about these. Like I said, these are kind of similar to plushies, but obviously not plushies because they're not stuffed and all of that. They are actual like little bags. So anyways, I did make these two in the month of February and I'm hoping to make a couple more so I can have like a little bin with these in them. You guys, I was wrong. I said I was done with plushies, but I found this at the bottom of my bin for the rest of February and I did make one little fish. This is also just chenille yarn. So this little fish I made because all three of my fish that I had with this same pattern at my market sold out. So of course I need to restock on those. So I've only gotten around to making one so far. But I want to make at least like two if not even more of them. Because like I said they all sold at the market. 
But anyways, that is this one, and this is the last plushie. And now, for these items, again, not plushies, but kind of similar, that I'm going to start adding to my markets. And that is bags. So this one is made with Red Heart Super Saver in retro stripes and then just regular white Red Heart Super Saver. And this is the unicorn pattern from Katie Dids on her Etsy. Such a cute pattern. Love how this worked up. And it was actually way faster than you would think because the whole bag is half double crochets. It's not single crochets. So it's a lot faster than it would seem. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. Now I am going to do some felt eyes for this. So they'll be like little closed eyes. So that's why there's no eyes on this yet. But otherwise this bag is done and I'm so happy with it. So I think it's going to be a super cute one to have at markets. So I made that. And then final two items are also bags. And I made these two bitty boho bags is what they're called these are also with red heart super saver retro stripes and i absolutely love how they both turned out with these colors and yeah these are a super quick pattern so if you guys want to make them for your own markets i think they're worth it because they're only going to be like 20 dollars for me because they were fairly quick to make so i think that's pretty good for a bag and especially for being made with weight for yarn so yeah, I'm really excited to have these as well and to see how they sell at markets. I will, of course, report back to you guys in my next market video. My next planned market is April, so that's when you guys should be seeing more market videos from me and when the stuff should be for sale at those markets. But anyways, you guys, that is everything that I crocheted for the rest of February. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the whole entirety of everything that I made this month. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please do give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of everything I made and let me know what your favorite item was that I made. And let me know some items that you made in the month of February as well. Cause I'd love to chat about all of that in the comments below with you guys. Now, if you guys wanna make sure you don't miss out on all of these everything I crocheted in each month videos, or just all of my other videos in general, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that way you know every single time I upload a brand new video. Liking and subscribing and commenting on my videos really does help out my channel, so thank you in advance if you do any of those things. Now if you guys do want to see more from me, you can always check out more videos of mine, my blog, my Etsy shop, my Rimler shop, all of my social medias, and my second channel. All of that is always included in the description box of every single video for you guys. And if you want to check out the crochet patterns that I used for all of these items, as well as the yarns I used, then make sure you check out the Google Doc that is the first link in the description box below. So with all of that, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys here in the next one. Goodbye!